look like death and feel like death. Yes, I still have the same cough. I did go to the doctor though. I just finished finally the next move global item. Oh my gosh, it has been a struggle. The last four items that I designed, I didn't like. Like, so I create these things, y'all, from scratch. <coughs> Is she okay? I think of these things and I design them, but I don't just design the design. I design like the actual pattern and that has not been going well because I just refuse to buy all the same stuff I already have. Like I have so much equipment back home in California, like a sewing machine, a serger, uh, an embroidery machine, like all kind of stuff. And I just did not want to buy this stupid mannequin because I already have one. Like I'm not trying to buy another one, but getting the measurements correct without a mannequin has actually been kind of difficult. So I was like, girl, this thing is like $30. If you don't buy this, you spend more on crab legs a week. Design it, I submit it, I get samples here, I test out the samples and I, when I mean test, I actually have to test them out. Like I gotta wear them, I gotta run in them, I gotta wash them. I gotta have a man wear them and do all the same junk because you know men for some odd reason they just don't function in society the same way females do so then I have to have a man do all the same stuff that I already did. See if there's gonna be any kind of issues. Also, I would like to thank Squarespace for sponsoring today's video. If there is anything out there that you guys wanna create, I highly, highly recommend that you get a website and of course, the best place to do so, Squarespace. Squarespace is this amazing all-in-one platform that you can use to create so many different things. I mean, you can create a store like mine, blog, a podcast, maybe you just wanna display your artwork or your photography. Creating something is super easy with all of their useful features. They have Squarespace AI that can help you write tons of beautiful customizable templates, 24 seven customer service, and you can connect your social media accounts to display your posts. If you're interested, go to squarespace.com and sign up for a free trial. And when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash Sunday love. You can save 10% off your first purchase of a website or a domain. Thank you again, Squarespace for sponsoring today's moment. Just woke up. We are in Shibuya for a few days. I have a business meeting, a dinner to go to, and one of my friends from Korea is coming down here. Like anytime I have anything to do in Shibuya, I try and cram everything on the same weekend. I just hate going back and forth and like, I don't want to stress out my cat. It's easier to just stay a few days. Somebody was like, you a hotel ho. I was like, I really am though. Cause like, I'm gonna get some sleep. I'm going to bed. This lighting. I fell asleep though doing my skincare routine. And of course, bruh. Do you, like I can't make this up. Like my body gives me no grace, none. Like girl, do not fall off the bandwagon with anything. My skincare, health, fitness, vitamins. My body is so mean to me. Like, oh, you're not gonna do your skincare? Okay, let me show you why you're supposed to be doing it. Oh, fat pimple on my cheek. And for me, the thing is, if I get one pimple, this lighting is killing me. That's gonna leave the nastiest like dark mark scar for months. It's gonna take forever to fade that thing. My skin does not heal well. I'm just wondering if I should do my makeup today. I just really don't feel like it. I don't, but every time I'm and she will, I've run into folks. I don't want to be looking like this. Also, if you ever come to Japan and you see me in the streets, y'all come talk. I don't know who would think I'd be stuck up, but come talk to me. I am absolutely always down to chat and I always have my earphones in and it's not because I don't want to talk to folks. It's because I don't want to talk to weird men. Y'all, men out here, they be on some other stuff. They always weird. Like if it was normal, it'd be fine, but they always weird. So I just keep my headphones in. Oh, let me know how it is wherever you live. Like comment down below where you live and then like, how is it? interacting with strange strangers that are men out on the streets like is it a normal like hey you're so beautiful can i get your number or is it like a do you want to sign up for skinship yo i'm not joking this really happened to me <laughs> this sweet japanese man came up to me one time at the grocery store and was like trying to talk but he couldn't speak enough english and i could understand what he, some stuff he was saying but i was just pretending like i didn't know nothing right because i was trying to get up out of there and then he was like oh can we have skinship would you like to sign up to be skinship and i'm like oh he wants to be friends. I was like, of course. And when I said that, he was so shocked that I knew immediately that that word probably meant something else. He was like, oh, really? 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 Oh, wait, what's a skinship? So I go on Instagram and I was like, y'all, I just told this man I'm gonna be his skinship. What's a skinship? Everybody's like, girl. <laughs> Y'all can look it up. You can figure it out. I don't know why I couldn't figure it out. You don't want to be skinship. But yeah, the guys out here are just so freaking weird. They like blatantly ask you for 
I shouldn't say that word on my channel. They will just like straightforwardly ask you for activities or like, what's your name? And then lean in for a kiss. Like that's why. Like I'm not trying to go to jail. I'm just not. You don't want to get a lot too. Do you want to go to a hotel? Sir, what about me carrying this McDonald's bags make you think that I'd like to go to a hotel with you right now? What gave you the impression that I'm out here trying to find some random man to go to a hotel? Like, I'm not trying to be like, oh, she's so fine, but do I look like I, do I look that desperate? What about me gave you the impression I'm out here looking for just any old Japanese man in Shibuya to take me to a two-star hotel for a few hours? See, now I'm gonna do my makeup just because I'm like, I don't want y'all out here thinking you even have a chance. I don't want you to think nothing. Don't come up to me. You lost your mind. You knew better. Look at my eyebrows. You knew better. Look, I'm about to put on foundation and everything. Anyway, what, what were we talking about? This is why I don't need a channel. But thank you for watching because I, I love y'all and I'm gonna be knowing why y'all here sometimes. And I almost forgot to mention another really, really common thing here with like weird men approaching you, not even approaching, is stalking. That is so, so big here. I don't know what the flip is going on or who told these men that we like that. Because I'm like, it's just too common here for, like, why is it a thing? I really want to know. If you have any idea, like, comment down below because it's a huge thing here in Japan. And even I have been stalked on so many occasions. Like, one time it freaked me out so bad. I was, like, literally about to, like, excuse me, ma'am. Like, can you, like, this man is creeping me to poop out. And they always stalk you in really weird places, like, at work or at the grocery store. Just places where you don't want to be stalked. Like, if we at the club and you follow me around the club, I get it. But, like, I'm trying to buy oranges. I can't even buy no oranges. And if I see a guy, I can tell he's, like, you know, looking at me. I will then keep him on my radar. Because I'm like, I bet you I'm going to see him again in about 20 minutes in a completely different location. And it is the creepiest, scariest job. Because then you can't go home. Every time that happens, I don't go home. I'll just like walk around, I'll go somewhere else, I'll get on a train, I'll get off at a different station. Like that is so sad, we gotta go through all that work just to feel safe. Like that's crazy. Comment down below y'all, I wanna know what it's like for y'all wherever you live, cause Japan is next level. <laughs> Are these not the, the, oh my god, these just scream Sunday. Why did I fall in love with these? That's all these. I was like, I need this. I need this so badly. These are so freaking cute. But we're not done. I have more shopping to do, but I'm just so lazy. But the day, look at this day. This is insane. See, this is why I like this place so much. It's something about being able to watch anime. Like it's not on right now, but usually like the TV's on. Anime's playing with this insane view. I'm not a city girl, but there's a train here and there's a park here so it's just giving what it's giving what it's supposed to give this room is not giving what it's supposed to give the room is a mess but the view is everything and also the location is everything i have a bunch of shopping to do in shibuya and i'm seeing a bunch of friends we got all oh got stop we just gonna be here for a while doing who knows what i need to go to kills stock up on a bunch of skincare products oh and i want to go to the fabric store i've been doing so many sewing projects i'm so glad i'm getting back into this because i used to make all of my clothes because i would see something that i want and i'm like if just this thing about it was different or like when I was young I would see stuff and I'm like ain't no way I'm paying that much for it I could make that so yeah I just got into sewing like really young and I used to make a lot of my clothes but I stopped when I moved to Asia because I broke my sewing machine and then I got a new sewing machine yeah but I'm back we're back into sewing we're back into the projects and there's a really dope fabric store in Shibuya so I'm gonna stop over there and see if I can find anything for like some two pieces and a dress that I want to make let's go
it's so funny. Like the first, you're gonna, I'm just gonna let you see. The first like 10 minutes of taking my camera out in Japan in summer, I can't even use it because like the difference between outside and inside, the lens gets all foggy. It's disgusting. It's from literal like humidity. Oh my gosh. I have to like wait until the camera becomes the same temperature as outside. Ah, I'm excited. My friend from Korea is here. We're gonna go get drinks and just chill for a little while. I need to get a taxi though. I'm gonna take her to A10, which is that really super dope kind of high-end bar. It's in Shibuya, but I swear it's Ebisu. The entrance to the bar looks like a locker, so you don't even know it's one. It's it's really nice. Anyways, I gotta go because I get it. I got one! I got the bazaar mouse. Kill Tree. They have like a shoe store with clothes and all this other stuff, but they also have some random like sweets shop. So like the clothing store is downstairs and then like one floor up in Miyashita Park. I like some of the bombest ice cream I've ever seen, like with so many topping. So many topping options and you can like mix stuff in so you can get a milkshake or ice cream and they also have some really bomb coffee. And I wanted to check this place out because I don't know if you guys follow me over on Instagram or TikTok, but if you know Keith Lee, he's like super huge. He used to be actually a wrestler or a boxer, I think. I can't remember which one. But he moved into like the influencing realm and he's like a huge food critic and I love how, what he does because he's going to places like black owned places, like places, run down places, hole in the walls, mom and pop shops, you know, that type of stuff. And he'll review the food and the way he does it is so freaking amazing. Like, ugh, I love people like this. this. This is my type of people. So he'll basically go to the place. He's so famous that obviously if he says he's going, everyone's going to show out, right? They're going to put their best foot forward. It's going to be fake. 
make. So what he does is he'll go to these places in disguise. He'll have his family go in and order the food or a friend or something like that. Or he'll just get takeout and he'll eat it in his car. So they don't even know that it's him that's getting the food and then he'll review it. Because like that's the most authentic way, right? To see how is the service? How does the food actually taste on a normal day? He's also there to like critique the place so he can tell like why the establishment isn't doing as good as it should be doing. If it should be doing good. Like is it the food? Is it the service? Is it the location? Is it just the marketing, the advertising? Because if it's just like the advertising and the marketing, one mention from this guy can put your whole like business on the map for life. It's insane. Like he been putting places on for well, I'm ranting. Anyways, this amazing man is coming to Tokyo and he was like, if you know anybody out here, like tag them in this video. Tokyo, Japan. Here we come. Ah! If you or anybody you know that's in Tokyo, Japan, or if you in Tokyo, Japan, and it's like an itinerary or it's things that you feel like are must-dos that you got to do when you go to Tokyo, Japan, please let me know. That's including food. I asked everyone over on Instagram and they all tagged me in the video, but when it comes to being black in Japan, I have to be the one to show this man around because that's the only thing that makes sense. Him and his family, like, they need to hit me up. Bring the kids. Bring wifey. I got, I got room. Okay, I got to show them the spots. But yeah, tag me in that video. I think I'm going to try and link it down below because I think that'd be so cool. But this is one of the places that I wanted him to check out if he did come and obviously Soul Food House and all the other black owned establishments I get tagged on Instagram so much like y'all be blowing me up about all these places to go to but I've already been to them on my channel here on YouTube but on Instagram obviously they don't know and they probably haven't seen every single day video so I get it but yeah no I've been I've been I've been here for nine years I've seen a lot I've, been, I've probably already been there if, if you thinking about it I wonder if Sunday Sunday's probably did it and also I do a lot of stuff that I don't even show on my channel because like I just can't show everything you know but yeah I'm gonna leave that down below guys tag that tag me in that video of his so I can show show my boy around anyway we're gonna go in here and go fabric shopping I am so excited even just from the outside they have the most amazing selection Ugh, I love this place so this whole section like it's massive all of this is like pre-cut pieces of fabric you know probably like leftover from a roll or something that someone returned. I don't know. But anyways, they're like pre-cut pieces and they're discounted. I like this section because I'm way too indecisive. Like I need restrictions in life. I can't be out here just picking anything. So I usually come over here and then like see what they have and I can figure out what can I make out of this. Plus it's cheaper. 